But here we are, the first real cold front of the year, and uh, it came in as a doozy. Um, I think I left my house this morning, it was 47. Uh, you know, that, so there's a little bit of interesting parts about this is, although it's cold, you know, it, it's also blown out of the northeast, which is where that cold front is coming from, but the deal is, it's already at low tide, negative tide, because of the moon. We have a full, we just had a full moon. So it pushed all this water out of Charlotte Harbor. We're gonna see lots of dry land today. I hope we're not on it. <laughs> but what it, what it does is it concentrates all the fish into these holes, and those are the areas that we're gonna be concentrating on. Yeah, so today is really just a, kind of an explore day, too. I just grabbed one of the camera guys, and we're just gonna go do a little solo mission and uh, see if we can kind of break down uh, what's happening out there um, from our summer and even fall pattern to now, <laughs> clearly, straight winter. <laughs> we, we didn't get like a little in-between. <laughs> we went straight winter. Uh, so yeah, it should be fun. Um, I brought some light gear, have some fun with some small plastics, and uh, maybe get a couple bites. low maybe 20 times a year we see it this low and uh <laughs> but you know that's why we have this for the low I'm hoping that years previous uh, will show that these are the right days to go out. But I did convince you to come out with me today. So there's only two suckers in this game today, baby. <laughs> uh, as soon as I get this jacket zipped up. Way too cold. Yeah, yeah, it's, I mean, really low, but it is magic right now. I'm not even joking. When there's this much land, those fish have nowhere to go. And they just fall into these holes. And if you can use your chart and do a little homework, you can find out where those holes are and probably catch a few. <laughs> now I say that, let's, let's see if we can actually do it. A lot of activity, lots of mullet, white pelicans. He came back for it. Yes, sir. And it is, I feel, a good one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's got some friends, too. This is exactly what I was hoping to happen. Fish should concentrated and just sitting in these holes, just milling with all these mullet. Yep, that one qualifies as being a good one. I mean, pinned it to the ground and sucked it in. That is the perfect specimen, right? So you can find that mud bottom. These fish, redfish are pretty tolerant to the cold and it just started to get right. 
He's just sucking up. Oh, look, he's frisky. <laughs> he's ready to go already. Oh boy. Number one. <laughs> Yeah, use that you know this low water really it's to your advantage one it shrinks the playing field and then also you can use that shallow water as a little bit of identifiers of water moving because it's all got the same ripple right except for where these fish kind of large fish like that moving across that shallow bottom and they don't have any choice but to push the water so you're always gonna have some type of movement that if you pay attention oh, if you pay attention to what's happening in the water not necessarily in the water if you're looking at the surface you start paying attention to that and you start learning what those fish look like when they're moving and uh you could be in for a good day lots of stuff right here moving too Oh my goodness, the bite was ridiculous. <laughs> oh, we got a real one. <laughs> that bite, I, I twitched it a second time and it like it hit a brick. Oh, he's coming at me. Look, look at the wake he's making. Oh boy, this is fixing to get ugly. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. 100%. This is why you come out when it's freezing cold and nobody's at the boat ramp. You basically have the place to yourself. And you can catch tanks like this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me get him right here. Come on. Let's see how we look. Let's see. I tell you though, I mean, I had these gloves on for the warmth, but I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of nice to be able to lift them without getting <laughs> stuck. Ah, look at that tank. I mean, they are fired up. Look at this dorsal still moving. That's the cool part is, they're so spunky when this cold weather happens that they get an opportunity to feed and happens to be right in front of their face and that little jig will do some work. against my better judgment in this program but we are seeing lots of little finger mullet and maybe some blow-ups <laughs> so I'm gonna dance this little top water and um, see if we can get the attention of one and just be a little silly with it we catch them on the jigs we, we can throw out some more jigs and catch them catch them some more but maybe just maybe we get that little top water blow up and who doesn't want a little top water blow? No doubt about it, uh, throwing some top water wind behind you. <laughs> Cats in a long way. Lose sight of it a little bit. But, oh. <clears throat> Let's see what we can find. And so right where those mullet are. Oh boy. A little long distance dedication. Oh my goodness. Oh, I might have floating grass. Oh, he's off for me again. <laughs> that little finger. Oh, he got it right there. Are we talking first cast of this joker? The water's 56 degrees. That just tells you when they're hungry, they're going to eat. And the, I mean, the only thing that kind of clued me on that Taylor mentions a lot of finger mullet getting maybe blasted. So. This definitely changes up the game. Phone top water, 56 degree water temp. It's freezing, I'm wearing snow gear. Why not? Oh. <laughs> Here 
Now, in years past, catching a lot of fish on top water, you always tend to find them, they'll eat the middle. They'll, a lot of times they'll catch that middle hook, the belly hook, because they'll come up underneath it and roll on it. But he was obviously tailing it the whole time, and uh, apparently <laughs> looked tasty enough that uh, we'll take it. I mean, that worked out. I mean, right? <sighs> Top water, winter time. Not normally my first choice. Wasn't the first choice today, but when they're fired up, they're fired up. <sighs> Look, I ain't gonna lie. Been doing this a long time and it still doesn't get any better now. Spend enough days on the water, you learn to appreciate days like today that are really coming together like that. And <laughs> top our redfish action. Woo! Oh, here he comes. <laughs> so, I saw him coming up behind it. That was nuts. When, when you see it looks like a torpedo coming up behind it. And that one committed to it, I think. Actually, maybe he just has a rear hook again. Yeah, look at that. Just, just on the rear. Yeah, he got some color on him, doesn't he? Yeah, you know, when they get trapped in these holes, clearly right now they're just looking for opportunity. And when he saw that top wire come across the top there, right over his head, he couldn't help it. And, uh, and he was in full commitment. There was no messing around with that one. He was ready for it. All right, back in the drink. Yeah, so we made a move. Uh, we caught them on that super low, and uh, now just come further back into the islands, and I, I just fish these bowls. And basically, what it is is just in a big, deep pocket of water that everything else surrounding it is pretty close to dry land. Not dry, but close. And we're you know just navigate through these little troughs to get here, and here we are. See if we can catch a few. I love the fact that we got some sun. Maybe we'll get a little sight fishing game in. It would hurt my feelings. Uh, we'll see what happens, but. The group of them. See them? Right here. There's a tank redfish right close to me. Oh, come on. Oh, look at him, look at it. They're looking at it. Oh my God. <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> Dude, when you can eyeball them open their face to eat it. Oh my God. 
Man, look, and he's got a friend chasing him down. See, he's, the friend is trying to eat it out of his mouth. Well, I saw them grouped up, and uh, oh my god, look at this tail, it's so lit up. I saw them grouped up, there's like five or six of them together. The bite, they could, they like jumping out of their skin, and then when I had him, you saw the other fish trying to eat it out of his face. Oh. Couple things, you know, earlier we were using a paddle tail to really get their attention with that vibration. So I switched that worm, and this, all this is a, a DOA worm, freshwater worm, just cut down, avocado red. But I put it on a net head. So what it does is it stands, he, that big kind of got tore up, but it stands up on the top like that, on the bottom. So a lot of times I'm just like dragging it on the bottom. Sometimes just twitching the slack of the line. And that fish makes his own idea. He thinks it's a little worm, a little eel, trying to bury itself down in the sand. And <laughs> they want it. <laughs> they want it bad. So, look, anytime, I wish I could get more people. You know, I've been guiding for a long time. I wish I could get more people to experience that versus chunking live bait. In my opinion, that is much more exciting than catching numbers after numbers after numbers. Don't get much better. Fly rod. <laughs> I mean, there's some truth about, you can catch them on those little paddle tails, you can catch them on top water, you can catch them on neds with the worm. I brought the fly rod, just in case it wasn't gonna blow 20, and it has slowed down quite a bit, and we got some sun, so, be able to sight fish one, put a fly out in front of them, I think they're right in front of the boat right now, so, <laughs> I'm gonna see if we can find one that's willing to cooperate. That's where they're all at. You see him there? Come on, eat that joker. He got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this tank. Oh, <laughs> he just figured out he's hooked, bro. <laughs> oh, dude, I was just barely moving that fly across the bottom. Yeah. Come on, bud. Come in to me. Dude, eat. I mean, to watch him nose down on it. Look how beautiful he is. That crystal clear water right there. Lean back. <laughs> Got him. Oh man, I mean, look at this fish. Yeah, that little shrimp fly, 
and an absolute stud redfish. Look, I think we proved it this morning. When they're willing to eat, they're willing to eat just about anything. And I mean, from Neds to paddle tails to top water to the fly. I mean, how can you not? And I mean, look, I brought it. I just expected it to be a little windier today. I was like, there's no way I'm bringing that out today. But it's absolutely beautiful today. Oh, he's hooked on it. That little joker right there, it's a little crustacean. Little red eyes. Oh. Are you joking me right now? What are we even doing here? Are we having lunch today or what? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna release her. 